And now, my last very personal message. Thanks to internet, many of us are reviving long-lost connections. For me, it has meant that a number of former students who were all high school age when I taught in a bilingual, in, I'm sorry, in a trilingual school in Peru in the 1960s are now contacting me. They have followed many different professions and are living today in various parts of the world, one of them right here in San Diego. Yet there is a common thread in their messages. The word respect appears repeatedly in their comments and they tell me how the respect they receive in the classroom conveyed a powerful message of worth, of trust in their abilities, of encouragement to trust themselves. Some of their statements are highly personal and moving, recalling specific instances that have faded into my own memory, yet they remain very clear in theirs, moments to which they attribute much of their conduct and success as adults. Yet what has impacted me the most is how several of these former students have communicated in different words but with similar conviction how important it has been to them to see that I have continued to practice what I taught them over four decades ago. That I have continued being faithful to Paulo Freire's message, which inspires some of our classroom projects in one of Limas Barriadas or Chanty Towns. That the idealism I shared with them then was rooted in true convictions that I have continued to live by. I had not expected that they would write this, that they would say, we have been watching you, and it's important for us to know that what you taught us were not just words, that the way a way of living that you truly have embraced. I wish this gift for every one of you, that in 40 years, those students you're teaching today, or the individuals whose lives you're touching in any way, will let you know how much you have enriched their lives, how they are in turn working to contribute to the lives of others because of what you inspire in them, and that they will share their joy at seeing how you have continued to grow and deepen on this journey. It is a short life, yet it can be a rich one if we treasure each of our days. It is a hard and demanding profession, yet it can offer us the utmost satisfaction. It's challenging to muster the courage to take a stand for our principles. Yet, if not us, who then? Who will help create a more just and equal world? Who will help create the lasting peace that can only come from social justice and equality? My deep gratitude to each of you for all you do to enrich the lives of your students with your words and your examples, for the hope you give their parents that indeed their children will be able to succeed. Thank for all your contributions on behalf of social justice. Thanks for being who each of you is.